Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my death predictions for Magical Girl Raising Project Jokers, or Mao Shoju Weeks AK Kaku, of course. I was originally going to do this as part of the read through, as one video is the, kind of like the first part of the video, but I'm actually going to separate it into two videos, so sorry this is pushing back the read through even longer. I'm going to record the read through straight after this, but I'm not going to post it until tomorrow from when you're seeing this, so, uh, yeah, sorry about that, but it's probably not going to be that much longer, even though it's tomorrow for me, because I'll probably post this, like, right before I go to bed, and then I'll post that first thing in the morning. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to be that long between the two. Um, but either way, I wanted to do this before I continued reading, because we had just been introduced to all of the characters, and... I didn't want to read through and then a character die and be like, well, that takes away from my predictions. But the way I did this is the way I've done it kind of in the past, where I kind of gave a percentage that I think they'll die, a percentage I think they'll live, and my reasoning on it. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to discuss through here. And I, even though we're like halfway through and no one's died yet, my predictions aren't looking too hot for most of them. I predicted that like 11 of them would have a higher chance of dying than living and only five I have with a higher chance of living than dying. So I guess in the end I will uh, list those as sort of my top five most likely to survive anyway. But either way, without further ado, sorry that this intro was kind of messy. I wasn't actually expecting to do this as its own separate video and that's why. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's talk about them. And I'm going to start with Snow White here, because Snow White is the only one where I have an absolute certainty in my percentages. Snow White, percent of death, zero. Percent of living, 100%. Snow White is not dying this arc. She's a main character, and we have at least two arcs coming after this with Queens and uh, Aces. I'm not actually sure which order they're in. I think Queens is next, then Aces, but I might be wrong. Uh... But I feel like those two arcs seem like they're going to be related to this one from what people have said. Uh, not spoilery, but still. Um, and we've heard a group called the Aces mentioned before, so it kind of makes me think that that's what that arc's going to be about. But either way, I think at least for those next two arcs, Snow White's pretty safe uh, since they seem to be related and she's a main character. So 100% chance of life. Next up is Stunt Chica. Stunt Chica, I'm given a 70% chance of dying and a 30% chance of living. Because I think Stunt Chica is pretty mysterious right now. Uh, and if she doesn't get developed further, I think that that will lead to her dying before she gets developed further. But I also have kind of a theory that Stunt Chica could be an antagonist character. She could be leading them into fighting each other. She could be leading them into a bad situation. And she just seems like this innocent, like, speechless clown, but she's actually plotting everything behind uh, everyone's backs. I get the feeling Stunt Chica could be an antagonist. So, yeah. Given her 70% percent chance of death. Um... Then we have Lady Proud. Lady Proud's actually another one. I give her a high percent chance of living. I gave her 15% chance of death and 85% chance to live. Uh, because her story is all about her becoming, like, qualified enough or ha having a reason, showing people that she should be leader of, I think it's Foreign Affairs Division that she's in now that Malpom is gone. Um, and because of that, her story makes sense for her to live for now. Uh, there's not really a lot of point in killing her off and kind of leaving the Foreign Affairs Division even more floundering. Um, there's not a whole ton of reason to do that, but it is possible. That's why it's not 100% or anything. But her story kind of makes sense for her to live and go on and uh, be a part of leading that division. Uh, for Umbrain, I'm giving her a 40% chance of death and a 60% chance of life. Again, one of the five with a higher chance of living. And I think that Umbrain's kind of less important. I don't really see a big reason for her to die. I don't think her death would terribly change Lady Proud. Um, I think that, if anything, she would survive in a boring way, kind of like Mana. I love Mana, but she survived in kind of a boring way. I kind of see that for Umbrain. Uh, where I doubt she'll get developed a whole ton or change a whole ton, 
uh, but you'll probably survive. Uh, Nanako had a, or Nanako-san had a really good story, so kind of surviving like Nanako-san too, uh, but Nanako-san is probably going to have a lot better of a story than what Umbrain's going to have here. Um, so then Marika Fukuroi, I give a 65% chance of dying and 35% chance of living, because uh, I could see her getting the lap lapis lazuli treatment where she's like a fan favorite who's a really cool fan favorite who's a really cool fighter and everything and then she just dies anyway so yeah i could see marika i could totally see getting the lapis lazuli treatment then styler mimi 60 percent chance of dying and 40 percent chance of living um because we see from her perspective quite a lot actually so it makes it a bit difficult to tell which is why it's close to 50 50 but i'd compare her to kind of like funny trick or maybe detic bell was similar in a way too where we saw from their perspective a lot uh but they still ended up dying they developed a bit but ended up dying anyway i feel like styler mimi is kind of in that sort of position uh, Filaru, high chance of dying here. Filaru, 80% chance of death, 20% chance of living. This is where we're getting into some high death chances. Um, and I say it that way because I really, really want her to live. So she probably won't. Uh, she seems just too pure for this world, and so she isn't long for this world. So Filaru, high chance of death high chance of death. Kafaria is is she my highest chance of death on the list? I think she is. Kafaria is my highest chance of death on the list. 95% chance of dying. Only this 5% chance of living. Because her power is awesome and will totally be used against her in some sort of ironic way. She has the power of seeing who dies next. So either she's going to see that she dies next and be like, ah shit, until it happens. Or it's going to be some situation where something tricky happens where she dies and doesn't expect it. Of course, her having that power basically sealed her fate. Uh, I nearly 100% chance of Kafaria dying. She could survive, but I don't see it. Um, Utakata 75... <laughs> the freelancers are not doing good in my predictions. Uh, Utakata 75% chance of death and 25% chance uh, to live. Because I just... As of yet, I don't see any reason for her to live right now. Um... So yeah, she doesn't, she, it's weird, because I don't see a reason for her to live yet, to survive this arc, but I also don't feel like she is one of those where, oh, her death is certain, it's a shoe in So yeah, 75-25 for her. For Grimheart, 55% chance of dying, 45% chance of living. Now this was originally going to be much worse. I was originally like, oh, Grimheart's totally going to die, but then I remembered that the next one is called Queens, and I was like, oh, she seems like she would fit in in an arc called Queens, or either the one after that is Queens. So I was like, she would totally fit in an arc called Queens, so Grimheart might actually survive. Uh, and in addition to that, she's important to sort of the noble, higher workings of uh, the Land of Magic. Why even is somebody that important where she is right now? That's kind of weird. Yeah, but Either way, we'll find out in the future, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, 55-45, it's the closest I think I have to 50-50. Yeah, it is the closest I have to 50-50. Because I originally thought she was definitely going to die, but then I remembered, oh yeah, Queens. She'll probably be in Queens. This is, other than Snow White, my second highest chance to live. Uh, shuffling 5 per like the opposite of what Kafiri is. Shuffling 5% chance of dying, 95% chance to live. Uh, I just get the feeling Shufflin's going to live, especially if my prediction of her power is correct. My prediction of her power is something kind of clone related. If she can make clones, that's kind of more of a chance of dying. But I think, what I think is there's going to be 52 Shufflins, at least. Maybe if you count the Jokers, there'll be, hey, that might be, that might be it. Maybe the 52 Shufflins will die, but the Jokers will live. Um... But yeah, I think there's a whole deck of Shufflin out there. I think there's multiple of her, and I think that's her magical skill. And so she can die this arc, and yet still live. A couple of her could die, but a couple of her live. So I think Shufflin, because of what her, I think her power is, is probably going to live. I think there's a very small chance of her dying. Uh, Prism Cherry, given 60% chance of death and 40% chance of living. 
Um, she's sweet. She's main character like. So I could see her getting hit with the um, the posteri or the um, what is it? Uh, what was her name again? Oh, the Pechka treatment. Because Posteri and Pechka had these traditional magical girl type designs, just like Prism Cherry has. And I just feel like she could die because there can only be one Snow White. Um, so yeah, I think she could die for that. I also think it's possible she could live, and that's why I gave it close to a 50 50. Because it depends on how the series is going to punish her character, and that sounds terrible, but it's one of those things where. She's been keeping this stuff from the pure elements. And we know that this series, bad things happen to characters. Uh, so it depends. Are they going to punish Prism Cherry's character by having Prism Cherry die? Or are they going to punish her, punish them by Prism Cherry living, but all of her friends, the pure elements, because they're artificial magical girls, they're going to die? So I give Prism Cherry a higher chance of dying because I think she's going to be the one to die. But I do think there is also a good chance that she could live to see her friends die. Um, and that would change her as a character, obviously. So it all depends on how her character's sad, tragic story is going to go down. Um, next up, we just have the pure elements. That's what we're down to. Uh, Inferno, I'm given an 80% chance of death and 20% chance of living. I a huge chance of dying there because... She doesn't have too much of a reason to live through this arc. And another thing is that Tempest has this rivalry towards her. Tempest is kind of like, always like, she's she's Tempest's Dinkelberg, essentially. Every time something goes wrong, Tempest's shaking her fist. Uh, it's always Inferno's fault. So if Inferno dies, Tempest is going to be devastated. Because Tempest doesn't really hate her. Tempest is just a little kid that's upset at her. So, because of her immaturity and everything, she's going to feel like somebody died and she was never able to kind of be real friends and make up with that person. It's going to really negatively affect Tempest. So, that's why I think Inferno is like totally shoe in dying. Tempest, though, I'm still given a high chance of death 70% chance of death, 30% chance of living. Um, because. I feel like Tempest could adapt and survive. It's possible because she's a little kid. She could figure out what's going on this arc. She could live. But I think she is more likely to die. Even if the stuff with Inferno happens, I still think Tempest would die in that situation. Uh, now for Quake. Again, I, I love Quake. One of my favorite characters. I love all of the characters. This is what makes me sad. I love the characters this arc. Um... So it makes me sad that I think basically they're all going to die. So I absolutely love them, but I think Quake is going to get 75% chance of death, 25% chance of living, uh, because she's the leader. If anybody's dying with the pure elements, I think she's going to take the responsibility and be like, I'm the leader, I need to protect them. And more of them could die, but I think Quake would possibly be the first or second of them to die, uh, because she's the leader, she's going to be responsible. Um, I think also there's not a whole wealth of like future connections for Quake to make like there are with some other characters. So there's she doesn't have as much potential as a character if she does survive. So yeah, Quake, high chance of living too. And now for the final character and the fifth and final character that I gave a higher chance of living to, Deluge. I'm flipping it around and giving Deluge a... 25% chance of death, but 75% chance of living. Um, it feels like she could play a further role in the story. I feel like with the artificial magical girls, having one of them survive would be really good. Now, I want all of them to survive, but having one survive could be good for the story to carry on and be an artificial magical girl in future arcs. And I think if any of them do that, it's probably going to be Deluge because of what we've seen of her backstory. She has the deepest and most most reliable backstory for a character that can carry on in the future arcs, I think. Uh, she can change the most and still continue on um, compared to what the others are. So I think she has a high chance of living because of that, and her friendship with Cherry could give her motivation. If her and Cherry are two surviving members of the Pure Elements, uh, then Cherry can be sort of her gateway to introduce her into working for the Land of Magic and everything. Or, Cherry could die, 
the rest of the pure elements could die, and Deluge could say, I want to take Cherry's place, I want to work with the official magical girls, I need to do good and to carry on Cherry's will. So uh, I think her friendship with Cherry could give her motivation. I think Deluge is uh, going to have a good chance of surviving because of that. So let me figure out what are my orders in. Okay, so my top five that I think could survive. Fifth, Umbrain. Kind of a boring survival, but eh. Um, that was fifth. Then fourth most likely to survive, Deluge, because of the reasons I just said. Third most likely to survive would be Lady Proud, because I think that her story is totally set up for her to take over is the head of the Foreign Affairs Division and to uh, sort of uh, play that role in the future coming stories because we, st we see stuff going on with like um, with like Fle and Nanako-san and Pithy and all these characters from previous arcs and I feel like Lady Proud kind of fits into what's going on there uh, so that's why I could see her living like that. Uh, second most likely to survive is Shufflin because I think it's going to be kind of hard to kill Shufflin, uh, and because I think that some of her, or at least one of her, could die, but some of her will survive. Uh, so I totally see Shufflin living. Um, and then the most likely one to survive is going to be Snow White, because I don't see any way Snow White is dying here. Snow White, to me, is a 100% chance to live here. So that's it. That's it for the character, um, uh, death predictions and actually because of the length of this I might get this posted earlier than I thought it would but either way first thing tomorrow morning I'll work on getting that read through up but I'm gonna go record it right now so thank you all for watching like if you did like the video comment down there to tell me what you thought of this um what you thought of these death predictions what your predictions are pretty pretty please no spoilers uh that would suck um then uh I guess sub for more Magical Girl Raising Project much around the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. Wait, I just said that. And uh, if you want to link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us on Discord about this series or anything else, ask and I can give you a link. Uh, sorry, my voice is kind of dying already and I haven't even started reading and that's kind of bugging me a little. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you all next time.